Yo! What's up, guys? It's Chris P44S back again. That is my PSN name. If anyone wants to add me, feel free. Um, so I've been playing I Am Setsuna, and I came across this boss called the Oro Rian Tiger, who was kind of a pain in the ass. So I ended up fighting him like five or six times, and the last time. I decided to save the clip because I thought it was so hard maybe other people were having problems and and I could help them out and, and give them my tips so I tried a couple different party formations I guess you'd say um, but this is the best one or this the one that was successful for me was having Ender in the front at Arena and then Nadir um, and the big thing with Nadir is I actually have a a ring on that boosts his HP so that's why he has so much HP but I did end up leveling too like a couple times in the area like I just did a couple run throughs to make sure all my characters had around 300 so the big thing with Ed Arena is that she can use her time magic um, slow to kind of slow this boss down because he has like a really high attack rate um, but also, I didn't find this out till like halfway through, but he's really weak to time magic. So like Demi does like almost 300 damage, I think, if you're able to use the um, momentum boost. You, can, you should be able to get around 300. But, and then I used protect on all my characters when I had the chance. Now, moving on, the big reason I had Endearin is because the formation stayed pretty tight, so I was able to use Aura on all my players when because they stayed so close together. So that's pretty much how I healed most of most of this fight was just using Aura. And then obviously Endear is usually relatively pretty strong as long as you've played with him for the majority of the game. Um, so he's really strong, and I think I used radi I like to use Radiance a lot. I have my Cyclone pretty high, but um, I think Radiance, if you use it with the Momentum Boost, I think is like one of his strongest. Um, up to this point in the game, it's one of his strongest uh, skills to use. Um, and then with Nadir, like I said, obviously I just kind of used him to tank. He does have some useful skills. But right now, um, some of his stuff I really didn't use that much. I basically just used him, like I said, to tank and to, to deal damage when I could. And you can pretty much, you can watch the rest of the fight uh, and, and see how I did. And maybe you can implement some of these tips and tricks into your gameplay and it'll help you beat this boss. Because like I said, he is like a really big pain in the butt. When I first got to him, I was like, I almost got a little turned off because he was, he's like so much harder than, you know, all the other bosses up to this point. It's just, his, his attack rate is, is just so high. And, and when he attacks, you can see he'll do like two or 300 damage depending on um, your player's defense and if he hits or misses or not but he's like he's stupid strong like way stronger than he should be I thought like a really good loadout would be Setsuna um, Kier and at Arena but like they're they all have such low HP that it was like okay this sucks like they're all they all can do really good damage and um, Setsuna using her momentum with her, her chakra throw will like heal everybody too no matter where they are but um the like i said like the hp just wasn't there so so the things that you really want to use for this battle is you want to use your players or your characters with really high hp so you can withstand his tax attacks and be able to heal without having to revive and then spend another turn healing the same character as well I mean most of the characters can deal pretty high damage depending like at arena I found like she really can't do she can do a lot um, but I haven't found any really good AOE attacks you can see there I just did Demi and I did like around 300 
uh, this boss only has like 2200 health points so it's like if you land Demi two or three times and you land a couple other big combos with your other characters I mean that's pretty much the fight right there the big issue with it is finding being able to find the time to fit those attacks in because I mean you can see like for most of this match I'm for most of the fight I'm spending it healing my players and trying to protect and, and slow down um, the boss you know but that's the big thing with Nadir too is like he really didn't have I mean I, I'll use him to throw items around but most of the time I just kinda had him like on a constant attack so it's like I'm constantly bringing his damage down and this boss doesn't really have a way to heal so I mean as long as it's this was more kind of that slow grind you know getting enough health points like I said before I wish I would have known about Demi though before because like the Demi really really is a hard hitting hitting move and you can see like when he does that he I think he does like fire lightning and ice um, he builds that resistance so the only one he's not building is time and that's at arena's big thing is the time magic like every player has their their own almost like their own element that they use you know for the most part and their own little niche so to speak but that's pretty much it and that and that's how i killed the orion tiger so i hope this video helped you out if it did please like subscribe and comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stop!